Mr. Bison, uh, sir, thank you so so much for taking the time to uh, meet with me. Yes, Dale. How's the tournament looking this year? He's got the eyes too, like Dawson. You know, it's okay, but I'm a little bit concerned with our uh, travel budget. Um, (laughs) You see, your your idea was to have all the fighters fight in their country of origin. Yes, the primary fighter will host the challenger in his native land. Uh Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's a fun fun idea. Just frankly, (laughs) it's not not making much sense just from my end of the table to say fly Ryu from Japan all the way to California to fight Ken. (laughs) Just the very next day to fly all the way back to China to fight Chun-Li. We're buying like eight plane tickets for each fighter. (laughs) I am aware that you said business class. Hear me out. What if, and it's a big what if, we had the entire tournament in one central location that the fighters all take yeah. one flight to. There you go. Like, say, Atlanta. Atlanta? <laughs> we need Atlanta. a diverse range of fighting locations. I know, I know, I, know. I thought about that. Uh, don't, don't knock Atlanta. You could have a, a peach tree grove. You could have a back alley. They have a beautiful Hooters. Never! <laughs> Sir, uh, please, listen to reason. We must fighting fight Hooters. in Soviet factories, aircraft carriers, temples full of elephants. See, see right there? That, that, I'm glad you brought that up. Temples full of elephants that casually spectate the match and then celebrate at the end. I mean, that's three months of food, <laughs> a very pricey trainer. We need the elephants. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. No Atlanta, keep the elephants, I understand. <laughs> Next time PETA calls, I'll just tell them you have scary flame hand and I'm sure they'll back off. <laughs> Even though it makes absolutely no f-ing sense. <laughs> uh, one other thing, sir, that I'd like to respectfully challenge is oh it says every third match you'd like the contestants to destroy a car. <laughs> it's a test of strength. <laughs> like test your might in it is Mortal cool. Kombat. Does it have to be, Not a for car, reasons, a fully loaded Mercedes S-Class? <laughs> you must have all the additional options. Fully loaded. GPS navigation, walnut trim steering wheel, DVD players for the kids. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> if you want to destroy a car, why not destroy a used Volvo? Wait, the yeah. car event stays. Thank you for hearing me. Sir, respectfully, why are you even throwing this tournament? To take over the world. Yeah, because that makes sense. Uh, for one third the cost of this enormous tournament, you could buy a James Bond style death ray, point it at Washington, D.C., <laughs> and in an afternoon the world would be yours. The, 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 the fighters, they do all the flips and they shoot the fireballs. It's so cool. Excuse me? It's so cool. Have you ever seen so it when two cool. fireballs hit each other? I, I have, yes. I have. Hatu again! Hatu again! Um, sir, I okay. have an Excel spreadsheet. And sometimes there's a red fireball. It's the coolest. No, I didn't think you'd get the spreadsheet. And then sometimes <laughs> there's a double KO, oh, which is awesome. And then everyone claps, and then I take over the world. <laughs> um, what kind of plan is this? If you don't have this tournament in a central location, I propose Atlanta, in six weeks you will be broke. Our profits do not justify our losses. I see. Fine. We'll have it in Atlanta. Come on. Atlanta's not that bad. Yeah. I mean, they have they, 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 they have a lot of street fighting there. I, I, people probably won't even notice it's going on. <laughs> they won't even notice. Yeah, your divorce f***ed you. <laughs> oh, God. Ken, um, oh. you're actually one of the few people we had in the first tournament, so welcome back. Attack me if you dare, I will crush you! It's great to see you again. Good to see you too, Ken. <laughs> I don't know if anyone told you, but we are we are actually trying to do things a little bit different this year. Um, each fighter actually costs my side of things about $52,000. Uh, that's quite a bit of overhead. So suffice it to say, we are looking for a very diverse group of fighters to justify that cost. All right. Okay. So to be frank, you are exactly like Ryu, and you are unnecessary. <laughs> you're exactly like Ryu, and you're completely unnecessary. No, but what? I don't get what okay, is hold on. unnecessary. How are you different from Ryu? What are your moves? Okay, fireball, uh-huh. uh, dragon uppercut, yeah. and the hurricane kick. Yeah, Ryu does it, Ryu does it, <laughs> and Ryu does it. All three. We got it. People come to see a hurricane kick, we got a guy that does a hurricane kick. I think people would want to see two hurricane kicks. I am so sorry, Ken. I'm going to have to deny your application. Wait, wait, no, okay, look. <laughs> I have red clothes. 
You wear a red gi. I wear a red gi. That's the top of the list of what makes you different from Ryu is that you're red. <laughs> yeah, and when I kick someone, it'll look red. It'll look red. Okay. When you kick someone, it'll look red. Yeah. That's what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Good to know. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm different than Ryu. I uh, heard himself. I'm blonde. You're blonde and redundant. Come on. Uh -huh. Ryu wears a headband. And you? I don't wear a headband. While you're out there doing, doing the exact, exact same, same moves. moves. Yeah. <laughs> no, God, you tricky man. To be frank, Ken, there's no way I'm filling out another pile of paperwork just to let in a blonde, headbandless, red Ryu. It's enough. Wait, 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 wait. Red Ryu. What if I wear blue? <laughs> cool, I'm glad you get it. Your application is denied. <laughs> you know, to be honest, this is quite a relief for me. As a fan of the tournament, uh, if I see another fight where it's Ryu and Ken just throwing fireballs at each other endlessly and they're poofing and which one's gonna get them first and everybody's bored for 99 seconds, I'm gonna ship. <laughs> I'm gonna ship. You look like Meg Ryan. <laughs> uh, all right, on to the, uh, on the outtakes for both. <laughs> And you are exactly like Ryu, and you are wholly unnecessary. What? <laughs> Bust On average, laughing. each participant costs my side of things about $52,000. Just help me with the guys upstairs and give me 52,000 reasons why we need two guys that do the exact same thing. I have a son, 52, man. 52,000. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Okay. Can you give me 52,000 reasons why we, why we need you? I have a son, man. <laughs> That's killing him. There's no way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can Ryu do this? <laughs> if you kick my desk again, I'm going to hit you with this phone. I'd like to see you try. If you attack me, I will crush you. <laughs> That's what I say, Dale. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> gravy boy. I'm the gravy boy. I'm the gravy boy. This boy's mashed potato boy. Okay, guys, we'll line up with the rest of the kids. What? All right, guys, just a fire drill. <laughs> you look like Meg Ryan. 90s Meg Ryan. So now. <laughs> the logic of the sketch, it's night, it's yearly. So night. now. Yeah, but I don't understand <laughs> what a Meg Ryan is. <laughs> yeah, you should put your pens top Logic down. of the sketch, because it's the 90s. The Doesn't matter. You worked in an office? No, I just, oh, I'm a pen guy. <laughs> <laughs> this paperwork, this is one fighter, okay? This is Sagat. Sagat. <laughs> like my personal friend Bob Saget. Saget. <laughs> You're friends with Full House's Bob Saget. No, I'm friends with America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Full House Saget do not get along. It's too sentimental. <laughs> it's way too sentimental. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he keep doing that? <laughs> So I skipped the outtakes for the bison one because it's just a rehash of what they already did and they're just laughing at it. There wasn't anything extra, no extra jokes in there. So I, I kind of kind of didn't do that one. Well, I didn't put it in here. I watched it, but I didn't put it in here. Uh, just the Ken one. The Ken one was hilarious. The the outtakes was funnier than the actual video. The, the actual video was funny still too. But I like the outtakes a little bit more on that one for the Ken one. Thomas Middleditch is just, he's funny. Like anytime him and P. Holmes do something, it's, it's gold no matter what for the most part. I mean... As far as what we've seen so far. So I, I enjoy it. In the comments, let me know your favorite part from this. Uh, which one did you like more, Bison or Ken? I like Ken more in this one, so that was hilarious. Um, but uh, I want to hear your thoughts on these. And uh, look out for more videos. We're going to watch some more stuff. We'll get back to Epic NPC Man. Continue with the DBZA stuff. Obviously, Ryan George and Pitch Beatings, I don't trailers, all that. So we'll continue with everything. But I had to finish these. So thanks for riding with me on these. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Watch the videos I got here for you guys. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.